Greetings! Welcome back to Signature Sense. My name is Ryan and today I'm going to do a very quick reaction video. I just received in the mail Brute Fabergé Deep Vintage Cologne and I'm going to be just doing a reaction video and comparing it to the Brute EDT uh, original which is the newer version. And so let me go ahead and open this box. Okay, so I just got the box off. Here we have a beautiful original Fabergé cologne with the official little medallion here, which I think is a nice touch. My first impression is it does look smaller than the pictures made it. Made, pictures made it a lot taller. Um, this is a 1.5 ounce. It's uh, full. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, that's interesting. So this little metal piece is supposed to be attached to the cap. Which is cool. It's a it's an old bottle. It is splash. So I can already tell you right now. So I, I actually am wearing this today. This is my scent uh, for the the morning and my uh, you know right when I came out of the shower. They have the very same DNA. This one I can tell you already smells much smoother. It smells richer. Um, The smell, the synthetic smell is a little bit there, but it does smell a little bit more natural as well. It smells very, very nice. I, um, this one, I find that when I bury my nose in this stuff continuously, I will get a little bit of a headache. This one I can smell, it doesn't have, didn't, doesn't have that, uh, my, that initial reaction to it. So let me go ahead and put a little bit of this stuff on and I will come back to you. Okay, so I thought I had an extra little empty spray bottle too. I was going to decant some of it and spray it, but I'm going to go ahead and just use the uh, the dab technique here. See if I can get some on my skin. I like to, I find that when I spray these on, the scent profile and everything for me is just different uh, versus a splash. I'm going to put the new stuff on this hand. I'm going to put the, or the old, the vintage stuff on this hand and this hand, I'm going to put the other stuff. And uh, let's see what we got going on here. Oh yeah, man. Okay, so the vintage stuff, right off the bat, I can tell you the quality is significantly better. And this kind of reminds me of Polo Green, the new Polo Green and the deep vintage Polo Green. I like the smell uh, of the new Polo Green. That's how I connected with Polo Green before I started getting into vintage. I smelled the new stuff at the store and immediately I had a memory trigger of me as a young child watching my father, like looking up at my father standing at a dresser getting ready for work because he used to wear a similar scent. I think it was Polo Green. And uh, then I started getting to Polo Green. So I still think the new Polo smells good. Similarly with the Brute, I still think this stuff smells good and I wear it all the time. But now that I got my nose on this vintage stuff, just like with Polo Green, I don't mess with the new formulation of Polo Green. I, I exclusively do the old stuff because it's your nose, it, it, your nose has a memory too. It's like when you smell something, uh, the richer, cleaner, smoother, bolder, refined version of it, and then you go back to smelling the one, that one you saw smelled good, this one, it just doesn't quite hit the spot anymore. So let me just sit with it for a second. I would say the main difference Okay, there are a couple, two things right off the bat. Number one, this one's more powdery. This one has more, is more, uh, has that, whatever they put in the Clubman, the Panade Clubman, that powdery musk, that synthetic musk smell, that same stuff is in here. It's just not as powdery as Clubman or by Panade. But that's what's going on with this one. This one, it, it doesn't smell, it doesn't have that same powdery. It has more of the floral lavender, more of the floral lavender that's that's kin here, in here, which is, so I layer this stuff with Panade Clubman a lot because I like the powderiness of the Panade, which has, is painted with the lavender, but it's more predominantly the, the uh, powdery. This, I like to layer on that because this brings more of the lavender and the floral notes that I like, which are a little bit overpowered or underpowered in the Panade. This one feels like almost like the heart of this in a more smoother, 
refined, cleaner way that smells more, I would say, uh, less cheap smelling. Not that this smells cheap, but you can definitely smell this. This would be like the niche version of that stuff. So I'm very excited. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to buy myself a glass uh, spray decanter. I'm going to put some of the stuff in and I'm going to give this a whirl. I'm very, very excited. I've been waiting for this for a while now because I've recently discovered that I love the Brute as a daily scent. And I'm going to create a, a nice video review on this. And I'll probably also include this stuff as well in that review. So um, if you've tried this stuff or you have any experience with it, um, leave a comment underneath this video and share what you like about it. What is your kind of take? What are the accords you get? What's your perspective in contrast to some other uh, similar scents in this genre? I would love to hear from you. In fact, if you have any ones that are similar to Brute that are kind of like, uh, you know, in the same genre, that, that barbershoppy, powdery, classic formulation, vintage vibe, please uh, share them in the comments below this video. Okay, make sure to hit subscribe and the notification so you can be notified when the video review comes out and also more reviews coming up very, very shortly. Talk to you soon. God bless.